Good evening, welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, to Master Game Theatre. I am your host, the Honorable Originals of Maverick the Third, and tonight we bring you another exciting installment in our pursuit of Shield's Metal series. I'm sure you'll find it quite stimulating. With me, as always, is my ever plucky but always reliable co host, Miss Colleen. Ishiyama. Say hello, Colleen. Hello, and uh, as he said, welcome back. We are back tonight with more of Trails of Cold Steel 2. And thank yeah, you for that intro. You're quite welcome, Candace. <laughs> uh, maybe one of these days you'll keep my name straight. <laughs> I don't, what are you talking about? I always get your name straight, Colette. Oh, <laughs> uh, Colette's a character from Tales of Symphonia. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, Kim. Well, yeah, I know you don't, because you never played the Tales series. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, we got a... I, I, I think I did play one of the Tales series. Well, I yeah, but, long... I don't, but it wasn't Symphonia. <laughs> no, I don't think it was Symphonia. Uh, anyway, what? are we ready to go in? Let's go in and uh, get ready. We got more conversations tonight. Yep. Anyway, I'm talking the door, so. Rest. Uh, I admit you didn't read Reen's comment. Oh. Okay, fine. I wonder if I should just hang out in my room until it's time to go to bed. Resting in your room will cause the main story to advance. Alright, let's go. Let me know when you're at the Reen's cutscene. Alright, I'm there. I guess I'll turn the radio on. Uh oh, I wonder who he's expecting to hear. I know who he's not gonna uh, hear. Wow, and he changed his outfit. In finance, the annexation of Crossbell has seen shares in Erebonian companies increase at an exponential rate across the board. And despite the Reinford Group announcing sweeping changes to its board members, its strong forecast for the next fiscal year is... Oh, rain. <laughs> it's time for the start of a brand yep. <laughs> new program here on Radio Trista, coming at you promptly every Sunday. I call it Aubin Time after the word for evening. Might be a little cliched, but sometimes simple is best, right? Cliches are cliches for a reason, after all. Anyway, my name is Misty, and I'll be your host. 
tedious now. Crazy thing is she actually enjoyed doing out of time, but it's not like she could have ever kept going all after all this. Huh? I wonder who that could be. Hello? Um, this is you, isn't it, Rain? Uh, it's voice now. <laughs> Well, okay. Never mind. Uh, Elise? Yes, it's me. Okay, only Elise's voice for some reason. Um, sorry for calling you like this so late in the evening. I'm not bothering you, am I? No, not at all. I'm just not used to you calling me. Are you calling from school? Yes. I wasn't going to, but Her Highness insisted. Of course she did. It'll take some getting used to, but it's nice to be able to hear your voice even when you're so far away. I was pretty surprised when I heard your voice, too. You weren't really one for phone calls back at home, either. <laughs> I didn't have any specific reason for calling. It was just that the letter you sent about your return from Crossbell arrived today. Oh, that was fast. I only said it a couple days ago. I'm sorry it even had to be a letter. I was I really was planning to go pay you a visit, but it didn't work out. Oh, please don't apologize. I know how busy you must be now. Believe me, I was just happy to hear you were back safe and sound. Your trip must have been exhausting. By the sound of things, you did an excellent job, too. I'm so proud of you, Reen. Thanks. I didn't do all that much, though. Really. Half of what the Imperial Chronicle is reporting is massively overblown. <laughs> if you say so. <sighs> hmm? Is something wrong? No, not at all. Regardless, now that I've heard your voice, I feel a lot better. So I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of your night now. Right. Night, Elise. I'll come and see you as soon as I can, okay? Oh, there's no need for that. Good night, Reen. Sweet dreams. Huh? She says she seems somehow odd. Well, she's probably just nervous talking on the phone. It was kind of awkward for me when I started using one, too. Or it could be Alfin's fault. Tomorrow's going to be my final free day of the year. I guess I should do all my prep work for next week today so I can make the most of it. No, go to bed, Reen. Uh, I can do this. I just need <laughs> two hours of sleep and a blood transfusion. <laughs> okay. Maybe not. Yeah. But seriously, you need to go to bed. <laughs> Hopefully he didn't stay up too late. Okay, now what? Receive student Please council tasks for March. Okay, well, let's we read them all five. then. Alright, yep. uh, let's, let's race to end all races. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah. You've been getting pretty good at writing my own break. Good enough to pique my curiosity. I want to settle once and for all which of us is a better writer, and there's only one way to do that. If you're up to the challenge, come find me in the engineering building. Angelica. Oh, I know it's gonna, gonna win this. Hard. I know it's gonna win that. Cause... Yeah, her. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, class warfare. But it'll probably be something like if you manage to beat her, you get a special. Alright, class warfare. Uh, Patrick. It's time to find a settle art. Which of our classes is superior? Come to the Academy field, fully equipped and prepared for defeat. Patrick. Oh, Lord. Junk, junk wanted. Brandon. A bunch of students are helping us put on a flea market, but we haven't got as much to sell of our stalls as we'd like. Mom, ready tonight? Stop by my store and I'll give you the particulars, please and thank you. Brandon. Let's talk, Trista. Uh, Shion says, lurking, 99. Okay, good night, Shion. Thanks for the lurk. Quick, duck cover. Oh, wait a minute, he's not staying. Never mind, good night. 
What were you saying, though? I didn't catch what you said first. Uh, that doesn't matter. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's talk Trista. I plan on starting a brand new show, show here at Radio Trista, but I'm going to need your help to get the first broadcast just right. Maybe you got time to make radio history. Meet me at Trista Radio Station. Michael. And angler, angler management. I'm further than I have a division battle, but I'm gonna need your help to actually make it happen. So if you get the, get the, get the time, we'll be at the fishing spot in Trista. And Kenneth. You said we have more talking to do, not more s missions. And there's gonna be one hidden quest as well, at least. Okay, anyway, continue. There's one from the radio station. I request your help for the, with the flea market. These all seem worth doing. They're pretty fitting for the last free, free day of the year, too. It's only about 9 in the morning, so I've got plenty of time to work through everything. Let's get to work. Now, where's the... About reporting quest. To report quest, speak to Toa in the student union building directly. By selecting report progress, you can receive rewards for any quest completed. Okay, now where's the hidden one you were talking about? Where do we have to go to get it? We can't get it till we finish three quests. Okay, fine. Um... Okay, uh... Uh, Junk Wanted is at the flea market. Where is the flea market? Well, we can start off, but because we're close, let's take care of some of the talking we need to do out okay. in outside of the university, and that's just a couple spots. All right, all right. Thought so we had quests to do. We do, and we'll get them done. But this well, is well, not tonight, important. I bet. Okay, who are we supposed to talk to? Uh, first we gotta go to the park. Okay. Uh, uh, how do I get the... to the park? Left square button and teleport to the park? No. There's not a way to teleport to the park. It's not a. Oh, well, okay, there is. Fine, I missed it. Okay, um, now who will we talk to? Hello? Yeah, I said. It. I'm looking for him. But who do we talk to, I said? We have to speak to Sarifa at Trista's Park. Okay. Oh, that's Trista's Park. Never mind. Uh, Edel near the garden shop. She's inside Okay. The... Yeah, I see her. So let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. I plan on starting my own nature conservation society once I graduate. My greatest desire is to bring smiles to the faces of everyone in Erebonia by filling the country with flowers. I'm certain that doing so would bring so much good to the world that war would become a thing of the past. Okay, that's it. That's it? Alright, um, let's be here. Where's Garden? Trist... Lindy? Is that the other one? Well, you said we had to talk to Sarita? Yeah, Sarifa. Or Sarifa, yeah, sorry. She's over here. She's where? Uh, she's this maid next to Margarita and Vincent. I think she was at the park. She's not at the park. This is the park. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Sarifa. We're in Trista, you know. <laughs> so this would oh, be Trista Park. The, I thought it was the... The garden in the in the back where the fishing pond is, I guess. Okay. Not. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of a voice for her. Uh, recently, my duties have largely consisted of keeping Master Vincent hidden away from Lady Margarita. <laughs> but this time, I thought it best that they did encounter one another, and was consciously derelict in said duties. After all, Mr. Vincent is a noble gentleman. He needs to be able to solve these sort of problems on his own. Though it seems today is the day that he will, and his saga will meet its end. A shame, too. I was rather enjoying it. 
wonder what Vincent will think of that. Okay, that's it. Hey, who else? Who's next? Let's see here. Uh, enters the upper class storm. Enters the lower class storm. And inside the lower class storm. And I believe that's everyone outside of Thor's. Okay. Outside the academy. So, let's go to the uh, upper Upper class dorm. Oh, okay, so I gotta go back to the dorm just a moment. No, the upper class dorm. Just go towards the front gate and then make a left. Well, why didn't it let me teleport there then? Because there is no teleport to the upper. You can go to the that's front gate. That's what I mean. And why don't left. they? That's what I mean. Why don't they let me? <laughs> and I'm not even sure I'm going the right place. Nope. Face front gate, make a left. You see, you'll see the horse head. You'll see the horse head facing to oh, the right. Just a on minute. Your left. Just a minute. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, and you said go to the academy front gate. Yes. Okay, and then what? Make a left. Okay. Turn left. Well, see, I wasn't at the academy front gate before, so that's why I couldn't find it. Okay, now. Oh, this is the lower class door. Which one did you say? The upper class storm. Well, where is it? Because I went to the left, like you said. <laughs> and I got, came Are to the you... lower class storm. Alright, that's fine. We can do that one, too. Uh, just a minute. No, tell me where the upper class storm is. Because you the said go left. Storm is... Yeah, when you're facing the gate, you well, go left. Okay. That one, what... You didn't say that. You said go left. Yeah, okay, now who are we talking to? You're talking to Lottie. Okay, she's or right Lottie. here in front of the door. Yes. It's hard to believe that the second year students will soon believe in us. I have to try not to think about it. As soon as the thought enters my head, I start getting depressed. This past year may have had its ups and downs, but I truly enjoyed being able to serve every one of them. Okay, now where? Or the opposite direction, the lower class dorm. Okay, so which is where I was before, but because yeah. you told me to go left. <laughs> and that was left. After I entered the academy front gate, anyway. Uh, who are we talking to now? Uh, just give me a sec here, I missed my turn. <laughs> uh huh, now you know how I feel. Lower class dorm's down here. No, that's the. Uh... You said it was the opposite. Oh gosh. Uh, here, I'll help you find it. Have a front gate. Just give me there a sec. Go. Oh, that's... Okay, I'm gonna bring up my camera in a moment, and I'll show you how to get there. Sorry, right. okay? I got it. <sighs> Shoot. Now I gotta go back because I went to the upper dorm to try to lead you there. <laughs> So now I gotta go back. Okay, now who do we talk to? First off, talk to the guy sitting on the park bench. Oh, okay. Just let me know. Yeah, I'll go. Have you had rumors about Brittany? She stopped Brittany's show? <laughs> I can't all the wait to see what she will do it is. Okay. And I go inside the lower class storm. Right. And who do we talk to? Klein, which is this first guy with brown hair. Yeah. Morning, Klein. How was your time with the Pearl Army? Super informative, actually. Not what I can tell you much about it, since most of what I showed me is falsified. Yeah, I figured it must be tough to be in the Army and have to keep your mouth shut all the time. Ouch. <laughs> Even though I'm happy, I once, it's kind of nice to be away from all that. Speaking of, why don't we hop in the pool for a bit? It's not a practice day, but I still can get the key easy enough. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do it! Okay. Now who? Uh, that's everyone outside of the academy. Uh, this... That we need to talk to. Okay. To me, the dorms are inside the academy, but what do I know? Well, 
Uh, they're not really inside, they're outside the academy. Inside the academy grounds. Obviously. Anyway, now where to? Alright, uh, so let's do our first quest. Uh, do we have time? Yeah, we got time. It's only okay. one o'clock. Well, you have to tell me where the flea market is still. Because <laughs> I have no idea. Because flea market isn't a place I can teleport to. Sure. Well, we'll start off with the uh, class warfare. Yeah, that, that. Let's talk no, Krista. we're going to the optional quest yeah. first. Okay, so we want to do Brandon's shop. Yeah, I know, and I said, where is it? <laughs> Brandon's general goods. Well, okay, that's not, to me, that's not a flea market, but whatever. No, but we're stopping by his store first, so. Oh. Alright. And we... So, what are we doing here? Talking to Brandon. Oh, okay. Howdy, Bree. You know, sometimes I'll feel bad about how much we shopkeepers ask of you. Sorry about that. <laughs> Seriously, it's no sweat. I actually find it kind of fun. This is the last free day of the year, too, so I might as well make the most of it, right? Time sure flies, doesn't it? You really have been doing this for a whole year now. <laughs> Still, this is no time to be getting all misty out thinking about the past. We got work to do. So let's get to it. Sounds good. Your request it said you need some help with your flea market stall, right? Something about not having as many items to sell as you were hoping for? You got it! The market itself is a joint effort between us merchants and some of the students. But the whole thing has kind of been tossed together on short notice, so people haven't had much time to donate items for our stall. It's a shame. After all the work that's gone into it, I'm sure everyone wants the flea market to be a big hit. But you can't stay open for very long if your stall doesn't have much to sell. Hit the nail right on the head there, right? Well, all I want you to do is go around and see if you can find anything for us. Think you can help us out one last time? Except, how can I say no to that? But, uh, how many more items are we talking about here? Hmm. Well, one more would be ideal. One more would be appreciated, but two more would be ideal. More than that, you'd be my favorite person in Trista. It might have been easy to find anything, though. I mean, as brief as the window was, we did already ask people to donate. I guess most of the people who had stuff on hard, who just had stuff on hand to give us, have already done so. I get you. So, I'll have to sniff out items that got ignored for whatever reason, probably. I don't even know where to start. I'll see what I can do, though. Thanks, I'm counting on you. Junk what it started. Alright, let's see if we can... Alright, let's see what that guy says about this quest. First, go to the pawn shop and speak to Mick. Gotta go to the pawn shops, that's easy enough. Okay. Alright, and we talk to the shopkeeper, I take it. Yep. Whoa. Lumber Blitz is making a comeback. Now that's promising. Good to see you again, Mick. Back in the horse racing saddle again, I see. Don't get smart. But yeah, now that the racetrack's open again. I'm back in my element. I'm really glad I told you kids to go out there and get that war ended. I don't want to live in a world without my spring races. <laughs> Look, I can tell you ain't happy about the whole hero thing, but just try to take it one step at a time. You can't exactly run away from being the Ashen Chevalier, so you might as well work on dealing with the burden. Yeah, you're right. Metalmar is part of my life now, so it's time I started thinking about what that means for me from here. 
<laughs> Good. But don't get started just yet. It's your last free day of the year. You're not gonna waste it worrying. Take the day off. <laughs> I think I might. Hmm, if anyone in this town has stuff that they can't sell to save their life, it's gonna be <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he had something to donate for the flea market. Maybe I should ask. Reen asked Mick if he had any items that could be sold at the flea market. Kid, I run a pawn shop. Why would I want to donate stuff, my stuff to the flea market for free, but I can sell it to some sucker here? You raise a good point. That business is booming, I'll have you know. If you want something from me, you're going to have to give me something in return. See, that's the beauty of capitalism. There's no way there isn't at least one thing here he'll never be able to sell. I wonder if there's anything I can do to cheer him up and make him feel a little more generous. <laughs> Man, I can't wait for the spring races to start. I'm gonna have to win big and kick this year off right. Oh good, we're irresponsible gambling. Why am I not surprised? Still, that might be a good starting point. Maybe we could try and find something worse for it to give him. Okay. Next, we need to go to our class dorm and head to Sarah's room. Okay. Uh, which one was Sarah's room again? I think she's on the third floor. Yeah, but I still don't know which one is hers. Uh, I don't remember, rather. I don't know. Let's start off with 306. Oh, alright. No, that's Milliams from all the stuffed animals I'm seeing. Okay. Cross all 301. There we go. Oh, okay. Possible for this room to get any messier until now. I mean, she's busy with getting all her work in order before she leaves. Would it be really that much extra effort to get rid of those bottles, or at least stand them up? She said she was going to be get, getting ready to move out soon too. Maybe I should go and remind her. Well, how'd that get us anything horse related? Didn't. Where is she? Alright, well, let's see, according to my thing is, uh, next up we go to the, go to the cafe and speak to Sarah. Yep, sounds about right. Uh, just a sec, okay? Yep. Alright, here we go. Ready? Yep. What brings you here? Finally built up the courage to ask me to treat you to a drink, because you know I'd be happy to. When I tell you I'm too young to drink, do you just hear a bunch of static, or is there some other problem? I'm here to tell you that you might want to start getting your room in order. You're gonna regret it if you leave it until the last minute and end up panicking over getting everything done. Well, you know... Actually, now that I think about it, I'm sure it'll all work out. I know Sharon would be more than happy to help. <laughs> No, anything but that. Ugh, fine. You win. I'll get right on it. But you're going to be helping me. This is all your idea. <laughs> well, I suppose I've got some time to kill anyway, so sure. Phew, you're a real lifesaver. I think that'd wear me out so much. I'll go toss the rest of the garbage out so you can stay in here and rest up. Ah, oh, blessed is the instructor who has capable students, for upon them shall be thrust the bulk of the work. <laughs> Even if that's what you're thinking, do you actually have to say it right within, within earshot? Oh, right. Let me give you these. You really helped me out today, but don't think of this as a reward. It's just that I finished them already. So you might as well take them. The last thing I need is a pile of books weighing down my luggage. 
Carnelia collection. Hmm. Are you just dumping your old books on me and trying to play off this generosity, or am I missing something? You fooled me, Rain. But how well you know me. Thanks for taking them off my hands. Give them a read, or a don't. Whatever you want, they're yours now. Hmm, now that I look at these, these might seem like they might be worth selling at the flea market. I guess I found my first thing to sell then. I could just take these over now, but I bet I could turn up more things in need of cheap selling than this. Yeah. Right, we still didn't get anything for the horse race guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go to Thor's and speak to Janitor Guiler. Uh, wait a entry. minute, wait a minute. How do I get to Thor's? Remember, you switched the left one and right one to go to the academy? Okay, no, I didn't. That's why I asked. But where do I go exactly? Uh, you have to go to the main building entrance. Uh, you mean the front entrance? And uh, yes, and speak to Janitor Geiler. Okay, for. yep, here he is. Well, whenever you're ready. Okay. You know, the janitor might know where I could find something for the flea market. He might have donated everything he had already, but there's no harm in asking. We'd ask Kyle if he had anything that could be sold at the flea market. Oh, you're looking for items for the market too, are you? Great, I already donated everything I had to give. Sorry about that. No worries, I figured as much. If Beck and Hugo as worked up as they are, I'd be shocked if they hadn't asked him a long time ago. But even though I'm out of items, that doesn't mean I'm out of ideas. For some student who asked me to collect something they didn't need just a while ago. They told me it was pretty heavy though, so I haven't gone and done it yet. But who knows? Maybe there's something you could sell at the flea market. Really? Yeah, that could definitely be worth looking into. Who was it? I don't remember the name. All I remember is that they were second year. They also told me the thing they wanted was to pick up pickup was the result of hours and hours of club work, so that might help. Hmm. Okay, so I'm on the lookout for a second year who's really dedicated to their club. Sure, I could do that. Thanks for the tip, Guiler. Not at all, I just wish it could have been more help. Okay. Let's see here, we did that. Um, go back to the main building and speak to Clara on the art room's second floor. Okay, that's why I need to know what part of the main building. But she said second floor, so... Let's see, east is this way. Art room. Yeah, just a minute, I'm looking. No, it's alright, I'm just... Alright. Oh, man. Uh, oh, Mac. Uh, art room. Art, yep. And there and she is. And of course it's her, yep. Hi, Gaius. By the way, hi, Gaius. Yeah, I hope you saw something right. Oh, it's nothing major. Now that the second year tried to dispose of an unwinded item? Maybe you should ask Clara. Reed asked if they had anything unwanted that could be sold at the flea market. Unwanted items? Yeah, sure. You were the one the janitor meant? But he said it was this big heavy thing resulting from many hours of club work. Well, look at what she's doing right now, Reen. Wait, is it? That's right, what I've been working on this year. It's way too big and heavy to take back with me. Go ahead and do whatever you want with it. But you spent ages working on it. I'm surprised too. You've always taken such great care with your work. Please, the art's value is decided the moment it's finished. There's no point in hoarding all your finished pieces around. It's kind of a shame to just, I don't know, get rid of it? I want to see where she's coming from. Hopefully, it can find a good home with somebody who appreciates its value. It's in the storeroom anyway. Hop to it, Warzel. 
Do your thing. Received lion sculpture. Thank you very much for your contribution. Oh, can it. We are done. Let me get on with my work. I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> Sorry about that. And that's two. That should be plenty. I can always try and find more, though. The more I can find, the better. Yep. Alright. Uh, now we go to the academy field and speak to Lambert. Okay. Okay, it's this guy by the horse here. Right there, I thought it was the horse. <laughs> Fair. Fair. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, coat's just looking just as marvelous as ever today, Whitcomb. Not to think this is just the beginning of our journey to greatness together. You seem even happier than usual today, Lambert. What's going on? Oh. I haven't told you the good news yet, have I? Just the other day, Whitcomb and I entered the horse show in Heimdall. Not only did we get to experience the joy of entering, but we were even awarded a prize. Seeing someone else officially recognize Whitcomb's excellency fills me with glee. <laughs> wow, that's quite the achievement. Congratulations to uh, both of you. I can't see. I'm terribly surprised, though. Whitcomb really is an amazing horse. Oh, I thank you. I actually took a group of fo group photo of all the prize-winning horses. Please take it. I have more. Received Received commemorative them. photograph. Photograph. Wow, this is a great picture, and these horses really do look like they deserve to win. You know, I can see Mick loving a photo like this. Maybe she showed. So back to the pawn shop now. Back to the pawn shop. Oops. Well, let me know when you're ready. Talk to him now. You again? What do you want? I found something I thought you might be interested in, Mick. Green handed to Mick the commemorative photograph. a photo from this year's horse show? <laughs> Man, nothing but top tier horses here. Especially these two. If they started reading proper, I think they'd really clean up. But now that I've seen them, I can get to know them before they hit the big leagues. There ain't a bet I won't win. G great. I didn't think he was going to like it this much. Ah, I knew win. Let me see if I got any junk that might go faster than the damn market than it would here. Give me a minute. <laughs> Your generosity is awe inspiring. There. Paper mache misty. Mishy. I thought it was misty. No, Mishy. M I S H I. Why? Okay. Wasn't this from Class 5's event at the Academy Festival? I guess. Don't care. They brought it here, and now it's in my way. So if you want to get rid of it for me, that'd be just great. Just don't bring it back. It's yours now. Then why don't you just give it to me first? But asked you. Well, who cares? I did what I set out to do. That's the third item. I think I found more than enough stuff for now. Let's get all this stuff to Brad and see what he has to say. Is there anything else? Um. Also, yeah, he says something uh, about a hidden quest. We didn't get that. Well, yet. well, we haven't done that. We haven't done enough quests to get oh, that. Oh, that's yet. right. But yeah. Okay. But there is a side note for you. Okay. Uh, you could talk to Mick and see what books you might be missing. And okay. So you can get that achievement. Or at least so, maybe you should inspect it. curios. Is that which one to pick? Um, never mind. I'll see myself. 
Yeah, nope, it's not there, so let me try and trade. Uh, nope, not there either. What about ex nope. Well, let me try just talking to him. Nope. So, yeah, I'm not seeing any. I don't see any books. Maybe it's on this. It says all missing books can be per Oh, I'm sorry. Nick's pawn shop has a chance of selling Gambler Jack too. Well, I think I might already uh, have that one. Let me check. Yeah, I got Jink. I've got Gambler Jack Chapter 2. Okay, that's my fault for not reading uh, closer. Looks like what I'm missing is Imperial Chronicle issue 6. Okay, um... You can get that from Kane's Bookstore. Okay, let me go do that real quick, okay? Yeah. buy every single one. That's the only way I can I've, figure. I've, uh, I said I already have everything because it has the number because I can tell by the inventory number. Surely this accessory body handbook doesn't, ca doesn't count because it's not a book, it's an accessory. Yeah, well, I don't know what to tell you, Ken. Eh, it's uh, just a thousand. I might as well give it a try. Well, all right. Let's not worry about it. Um, is there anything else we need to do before we turn these into Brandon? Uh, I don't know if it would help or not, Ken, but uh, there is a section in the inventory for books. Yeah, I know. I've already looked there, I said. Okay, uh, what am I looking I'm, for? Not, no, I mean, I'm sorry. In the camp menu, if you hit notes, there's a section for books. It might oh, help okay. Me. Hang on a minute. Um, I don't know if that'll help or not. Well, at least tell me what. Let's see. Got all those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and finale. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and finale. So I've got Imperial Chronicle, Gambler Jack, and Gambler Jack 2. Imperial Chronicle, uh, I have 1 through 7. Gambler Jack, 1 through 13 in the finale. And Gambler Jack 2, 1 through 13 in the finale. I don't know if, you, if that's what you might be missing, but... For some reason or other, I have something in my inventory called Crossbell Times SP. Do you have that? Uh, you said you're. You said in invent. You said to look in the can. Uh, never mind. The can menu notes and then book. No, I already looked in notes and that that wasn't there. So Crossbell Times SP is not there. That's right. That's the one you're missing then. Well, where do I get it? Uh, this is all the same books will be purchased from him. I don't know. Well, let me double check, but I'm pretty sure he didn't have it. No, he does not have that one on my end. Yeah. Same here. 
Oh, that's the one that you're missing then. Um, yeah, but where was it? Let me see if I can find it. Uh, let's just finish. Like I said, I asked if there's anything else we need to do before we turn those things into Brandon. Well, that was it. That was the only thing I could think of. So, if he didn't have it, Yeah, I but I'm talking about our quest at the moment is what I'm talking about. Nope, that's everything, so let's just go back to mix. No, uh, we're going to Brandon General Goods. Brand that's what I meant. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Pardon me, I'm embarrassed. Oh. Okay, I'm talking. you didn't hear it then? Huh? Uh, you didn't hear it then. That's good. I feel better. Uh, no, yeah, I didn't. All I heard was you, um, was you saying where we need to go back to. Anyway, um, let me know when you're ready. I right, deliver items. I've got tons of I, I've got a ton of items now. More than enough to make me happy, I'm sure. Better hand them in. So, did you manage to scratch anything up? You bet I did. Green handed Brandon what he found. Whoa, how'd you find all these? Every single one of them is rare, too. <laughs> we'll put these out to the customers, we'll come running. Nice work. Our stalls really look it up, and it's all because of you. Much obliged. <laughs> all I really did was walk around and talking to people. And I'm an expert at that. <laughs> at Although it has been a while since I've done it in Trista. No surprises there. You've done this every single free day you've had all year. But even if your free days weren't exactly free, you've saved the bacon of every shop owner in Tristan time and time again. So thanks on behalf of everyone here. Here, let me give you some extra stuff today. Don't even try to say no. Oh, thank you. Wow. Dang! Sweet! Yeah. These are really nice. I won't say no, but are you sure about all this? With all you've done for me and the people of Tristan this past year, I'd save you more than earned it. But we'll work even harder for you next year. We'll work you even harder next year. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I knew there had to be a catch. Quest Junk 1 completed. AP, AP increased by 1. Okay, we're already past oh, past 48 minutes, so I don't know if we'd have time to do another. We have, uh, we can quest talk tonight. more for another half hour, or we can try and do another quest. It's up I, to you. That's what I said. I don't know if we'd have time to do another quest tonight. Uh, still traveling around, but I think we could just squeeze in the Radio Trista quest. Alright. So let's talk Trista. Ra yeah, let's talk Trista. Okay, how do we get to the radio station? Uh, let's go to the... Uh, let's go to the Class 7 dormitory. Alright. That's the closest to... the... branches of the... Yeah. Well, no, I could've just gone to the front entrance. <laughs> realize that, right? Oh, there's that too. Yeah, that's what uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, what is this place? That's main building, first floor. Uh, where's the radio station? Uh, right down the street from the next door to the cafe. Okay, well, that's not, uh, that's not by the front entrance, then. Go to the cafe and then leave. Trista's. No, that's not. Radio station, just next door. Yeah, it says Trista station, not radio station. Yep. Alright, if you say so. Nope, that's not it. Because I went to Trista station, like you said, and it's. No, it's like radio back. station. Well, where is it? It's on next door to the cafe. Well, I don't see it. Bring up the cafe and then walk outside. 
I did that and I'm not finding it. Okay, look at my map. You see where Sarah's head is? No, because I haven't brought it up yet. Yeah, I see it. What about it? I okay. Went, I went to the cafe. I'm, okay. Yeah, I went. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's I'm try again. I'm trying to explain. Okay. I went there. Will you let me? Will you let me? Oh, not let me try even. I'm trying to help you is what I'm trying to do. Well, I found it. Okay. Okay. Let's talk to the guy. Oh, good to see you again. Oh, you're here. Great. It really has been a while, Reed. Last time I saw you, you weren't even famous. <laughs> what do you say? Why don't you give Radio Trish an exclusive interview? I'll pass. Besides, at the end of the day, I'm just a student. I don't want to be made into some, some national hero. Ah, oh, nuts. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. It's not what you're here for, anyway. You're here to help me out with the new talk show I'm working on for Radio Trista. New talk show? Finally replacing Ab in time, huh? Not before it's time, truly. I still think of it as successful. So I want to take what we learned there and put it into an all new show. In the same vein, to establish the talk show genre. See, this always got a theme to it towns. We we'll can focus on a different town or city in every broadcast. We're going to try to get to the heart of what makes each city we visit great, straight from the locals' mouths. Our first show is going to be a test case, and I'm going to need your help with it. Fine by me. But since you're asking me, I take it the first town you'll be co covering is Trista? That's right. Our own backyard. How said this place got more famous after the war? It's going to do wonders for our ratings. New shows live and die on those numbers. So do radio stations, actually. Battle and Heimdall give us a bit of a boost, but our listenership isn't what it used to be. Now's our chance to win back their hearts and ears from those bastards to Imperial Chronicle Radio. <laughs> Should have seen that coming. Unfortunately, we don't have anyone to replace Misty. Who doesn't exactly, which doesn't exactly help matters. But even though we're not ready to air just yet, I want to get a feel for how the show's going to work as soon as I can. So basically, I want you to go around and get comments from the people of Trista about what makes this town great. Sounds like something you can do for me. Except, not a problem. But do you have any guidelines for me, or should I just go around asking when I see why they like this town? <laughs> I sure do. Why don't we limit it to the five comments for now? I never find little too. I'm an elderly, from a kid, from a worker. I give that we're kind of a school, a town. One from a student and one from a teacher should round things out nicely. Try to get a hard working first year for the student comment. And someone who won't mess with us for the teacher one. Got it. Sounds like a good mix of people. I'll see what I could do. Thanks. Let me know what you've got. Once you've got all the comments we need. Let's have a look. Quest, Quest let's start Trista started. Okay, let's get out of here. Now first back to the uh, cafe and speak to old man Abbott. Oh, okay. Do you need a comment from an elderly person? That's nothing if not elderly. Hang on. Okay. Reed explained that he was collecting comments about what makes Tristan great for a new radio show. Comments you say? I've got my share of hair share of those. Hopefully I can give you one that works. Fingers crossed. Hmm. That makes Tristan great to me. I say it's because this place has a unique sense of vitality. You can see it at key points in the school year. Like these two. 
Being able to share in the major milestones of all these young students' lives brings me a joy that couldn't be found anywhere else. That's a new perspective. I suppose it makes sense coming from an elderly person. I can hardly wait to meet the new students who will be here in just two weeks. <laughs> oh, I'm rambling now. Is that helpful? Absolutely. Thank you very much. How nice to hear. I do hope it ends up in that new show you mentioned. Okay. Hey. Now I think uh, I saw on the map that we can go to get one from Brand Brandon's General Goods. Uh, well, from close to it, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to find her. Girl. Uh, where is she? She, She's just outside of his shop. Oh, okay. Well, it looked like it was inside the shop. Oh, okay, here she is. Okay. I bet Times would give me a good comment for the child category. Being told Tysley was collecting comments on what makes Trista a great Trista great for a new radio show. I really get my comment read on a new radio show? <laughs> well in that case, I'll happily give you one. I, if you would mind. <laughs> Let's see here. I think the thing that makes Trista great is its pleasant, relaxing scenery. In spring, you get the you got the little flowers. In fall, you have the falling leaves. Each season is beautiful in its own way. It's close to Heimdall too, so I think everyone should come and look if they get the chance. And how did I do? Was that okay? <sighs> oh, I just knew I was gonna mess it up somehow. Perfect. Thank you for sharing. Uh, some of it got cut off. Haha, <laughs> well, if you say so. Anyway, um, let's see. Uh, Lottie by the upper class dorm. Okay. Do you remember that, that is, way. right? Well, I'm seeing. Um. Uh, well, actually, uh, before that, I'm seeing a place with two green exclamation marks. Should we not go there first? According to this, uh, no. Uh, well, body by the upper the storm. What about Annabelle or Kenneth? Oh, I could probably no, fish here. That's, yeah, that's, that's a fishing quest. Okay, let's that. move. So, uh, let's see. Okay, yeah. So, we gotta talk to the maid again. Okay. Lot works. Lot works here in Tristan, obviously. Maybe she'll give me a comment for Michael's new radio show. Being told Lot was collecting comments on what makes Tristan great for a new radio show. Really? That's an interesting idea. <laughs> I don't know how useful my opinion would be, but if you want me to, I'd be happy to throw my two mirror in. By all means. What makes Trista great to me? I'd have to say that it's because we're a town of pride. No matter how many times the people here fall, they always get back up and keep moving forward. They don't let anything stop them from achieving their dreams and keep working hard until they realized. Everyone has a deep sense of personal pride, and it makes me proud to be able to support people like that. I'm sure the next year will pose us a number of new challenges, but I can say with confidence that we will prevail. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Thank you for the comment. Oh, not at all. I hope you can use it. Okay. Uh, Get out to the school, probably. Yeah, main main building staff room at to the first floor and speak to uh, Vice Principal Heinrich. The first floor, you said? Yes. Okay. Uh, staff room, staff room. Uh, where's the staff room? Infirmary. Uh, 
faculty lounge? Is it that one? Could be that. Yeah, there's someone here to talk to. Uh, looks like a student. <laughs> no, that's a teacher. My bad. Alright. Well, no, it's a vice principal, actually. Yeah. Alright. That's who we want to speak to. Okay. Hello? Yeah. I'm I said, going to him now. Well, I already talked. I've already talked to him. And why, pretty hell, are you darkening my doorway today? I will certainly hope that you aren't here to tell me about some recent spot of trouble you could have got caused. Excuse me? I'm being completely honest when I say the thought couldn't have been further from my mind. And he told the vice principal that he was collecting comments about what makes Trista great. Why does Ray never cause trouble anyway? What's he talking about? Is that the case? Radio Trista has improved on its lot in life over the past year. I'm afraid it's of no interest to me, however. <laughs> You're still not getting ratings the way they were before the war, but I think they're on the right path, I think. They've been doing a lot of work to expand their audience, too. Rumor has they're even starting to broadcast in Cospell. I see what you're doing there, Reed. Did, did you say Cospell? If there's a fraction of a chance that I'll release your mouth, I'll make this opportunity. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. <clears throat> Go and find the radio show you said. I have no love for radio as a medium, but it would be only right for the Academy's vice principal to contribute his opinion. Phew, I dare have forgotten how crazy it was for Rishi Abao. Well, Michael wanted a comment from a teacher, and a comment by Kajolman is still a comment. <laughs> I would like nothing more, sir. This unveils it. What makes the town of Trista great, you ask? Why are you standing in it? It's nothing short of the presence of the Academy founded by the famous Emperor Dreykels. Care to elaborate on that? I would love to. This academy is far more important to this nation than you realize. Countless numbers of men and women have passed through these halls of learning or been enriched by the knowledge they offer. Those men and women then go on to form the very backbone of society. Yes, that does include the men of the Imperial family. To borrow the words of our wondrous founder, this academy is charged with creating the very foundation of our world. This town may be small, but it has the pride and dignity one would expect of such a key part of this great nation. I would postulate that it is the very presence of this academy that allows it to hold its head so high. Wouldn't you agree? That's actually an incredibly sound argument. Emperor Dreykel's words resonate even now, clearly. They certainly do. In fact, that's something I hope you keep in mind as you conduct yourself over the next year. I want you to make sure you use your last year here as fruitfully as possible. Especially if this way your education tends to be punctuated with as I work. You have me there. Thank you for your comments, sir, and your advice. Okay. And last but not least, go to the gym and speak to Monica. Okay. That's the training hall, which I think is just inside the door. Okay. Train. Yep, here it is. Oh! Yep. Hi, girls. Fian. Don't mind us. Yep, <laughs> Fee and Laura. Don't mind me. I'm talking to her now. Yep. Hmm. I still need to steal a comment from Michael. You know, Monica's a hard-working first year. I'm sure a comment would be great. Being told Monica about Michael's new radio show and his request. M me Give a comment for a radio show? Th that's fine if you think I'm up for it. I'd be happy to help, or at least try. No pressure, just give me your honest opinion. That's all I need. Well then... The best thing about Trista to me is how it's full of wonderful people. You've got second years who inspire you, friends and classmates who are just fun to be around. And 
even outside the academy, the townsfolk are always there to support me whenever I'm feeling blue. I feel like having all these great people around allowed me to grow into the person I am today. I couldn't be happier that I chose to attend this academy and live in Trista. And I are in the same boat there. It's been an amazing year. It really has. I can't deny that I'm sad to see Laura leave, but I'll try to make next year even more fruitful than this one. Besides, it'll take more than her leaving the academy to put an end to a friendship like ours anyway. That's for sure. Thanks for your comment, Monica. Haha! <laughs> Hopefully you can actually use it! Great, I have all the comments I need. Time to get on back to Michael. Alright. So, that was next to the cafe, right? Yeah. Right. Okay, talking to him now. Back. Cool. You can get a bunch of amazing comments. I'd say so. Check them out. Green gave Michael all the comments. Hmm. Now that's the stuff. I couldn't have come up with more perfect comments if I wrote it myself. This show has got success written all over it. <laughs> I need you guys to call. Great job, Green. <laughs> wow, I didn't think you'd be this happy about them. You're making me blush. Well, one way or another, good luck with the new show. You know I'll be turning, tuning in. Haha! <laughs> yes, you wait! This will be great! I'm gonna make this station a bigger deal than the army, and then we'll never have them trying to censor us ever again. Gotta shoot for that 20% audience share with this thing. <laughs> well, I appreciate his... deal. This has really made me think. Trista really is a wonderful place. Quest Let's Talk Trista completed. Receive Celestial Balm EX times three as a reward. Nice. Yep. Okay. We're That's over an hour now. Huh? 151, uh, we can go to, uh, we can go save our game at Kenneth's spot, at the fishing spot, and save our game oh, there. Okay, sounds good. I've picked it up at our next... Let's see. Okay, I'm just, I was just trying to find where it is again. It's just over Yeah, the I found it, I found it. Just let me get there, okay? Yeah, sure thing. Okay, so yep, this is where we're going in the stream for tonight. So hope you all enjoyed it. As always, you can follow my YouTube channel link below to see my past streams, as well as my Twitter to be notified when I go live for further announcements. And when will we be back? Uh, I think I could, I th we can either come back Monday. Or, yeah, I think Monday might be uh, the best. Okay. Because, uh, well, I'll talk about I'll talk to you about it off air, but mm -hmm. uh, I think All right. Monday would be best. All right. So yeah, we'll be back on Monday, and I'll also be back on Monday to continue playing Trails Trails in the Sky Second Chapter. So I'll see you then. If you'll stick around, we'll drop a raid. Right. A raid, a host, a visitation, a spying operation, one of those things. Um. Uh, okay. I thought we would be raiding Shion, but apparently not. Yeah, didn't he say he was doing a stealth? A raid then going to bed? Oh. Yeah, but I guess I thought he was going to keep his stream going. Uh, my bad. Uh, still can't raid Kupoyo. I assume, because I assume she still has that set that way. 
Uh, nope, not gonna host him. Uh, let's see. Now I'm trying to think of someone to host. Just bear hmm. with me, okay? Nope. Trying to find someone to raid that is playing a game I won't mind having beat spoiled on. <laughs> or. Okay, let's go ahead and host 21, who is playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Or raid, rather. So I hope you'll stick around for that. And I will, again, we'll both right. be back on Monday. So I'll see you then. Have a Take good care, night. Warden. Yep. Have a great weekend. Yep, have a good night and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care, everyone. Good night, all. Good night. Take care, everyone. Bye. Take care, everyone. Bye. Good night, Rio. Okay, good night, Ken. And yeah, I remember. I'll stick around for a moment.